My next guest as well, the two-time Big Ten Coach of the Year. His Badgers went 13-1 and last season, currently ranked seven in the preseason coaches poll. He is the born and raised in Madison, Wisconsin, the coach of Wisconsin, Paul Christ. How are you, Coach? I'm doing well, Rich. How are you doing? I am doing fine. What are, what are your ticket requests for every game? <laughs> what does that you look know, like? I'm pretty lucky. One, my wife deals with it all, so I don't have to do anything. But okay. a lot of them have, uh, have, have had tickets for a while, so it's, uh, it's not bad. So they don't ask for upgrades to get closer then? Is I that... think there's a few upgrades thrown in there, but it's good. Okay, so, so it's all handled. You don't have to worry about that sort of thing. Yeah, I'm lucky there. I don't, I don't really do a whole lot during the season outside of the job, so it's, Just I'm pretty lucky. The job. What does the job look like two weeks before the beginning of the season on a college campus for you? You know, it's it's um, still, you know, in the middle of uh, training camp, which is different. You know, I think the last couple of years, training camp's taken on a little bit of different feel to it, but it's still fun. It's fun to get going. And, you know, the the kids spend so much time, you know, in the winter, and, and then you have spring ball and summer training, but to get into fall camp and and get going. It's a uh, it's a good time and a fun time. And and you know the group that we've got, you know they like they like playing and they like uh, each other. So so each day is fun to be around them and and just trying to make sure that we're doing everything we can to to get ourselves ready for the opener. We had Dabo Swinney on earlier this week, and he said that college football at your level is the only spot uh, in in any level of sports in America that does not have some sort of uh, madness or jamboree or training camp or anything like that where you get to scrimmage against somebody. And, right. Uh, would you want to have something like that? You know what? There's a, it is a, it's a, it's a weird feeling when you, you know, that first game, you just, you want to find out about guys. And I think, you know, you've I've been around it enough where you, you, you don't know any other way. Right. But it's uh I, we were just talking about with some of the players we were on the field yesterday and just saying how it would be kind of nice to, to to find out and to get to know. But, you know, I don't think it's going to change right now, so don't spend much time thinking about it. It is what it is, as coaches say. <laughs> yeah, right? say it too often, right? Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, now, uh, very rarely do I see offensive linemen as cover boys. <laughs> But yours are in a regional uh, cover uh, right. for your area for, uh, I guess, the upper Midwest. Uh, there they are, the offensive linemen of the Wisconsin Badgers looking down from a huddle. Big is beautiful is the headline. Did you okay this? Did you give the check mark to this? No, I had no say on this one. But it's, no. uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a neat group. And as long as they know that it it means nothing going forward, it doesn't <laughs> guarantee anything, then you know, good for them. But it's uh they get they get more they get more attention here and they have had for you know, I've been lucky to be here for a number of years and and the big guys have always gotten pretty good love here, so Hmm. They just better back it up. Yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say. Because a lot of offensive linemen don't usually want the attention sometimes. I mean, I remember the old Broncos offensive line. Right. They just like They refuse to anything, talk. Right? They refuse to talk, Coach. Yeah, and I kind of appreciate that. But it's, uh, you know, this group works. And, um, and I think they do have a good personality. And I don't think one guy alone would want to talk. But I think they feel kind of together a little bit different but it's um you know you're happy for them but like i said and they know it it, it, it means nothing and you know you gotta you know, we get an opportunity this year and, and what we make of it's up to us and and you gotta go compete and and, and all those things but it's um I think they've they they've got it in a in a good balance. I think. Well, in in that Sports Illustrated, Coach Chris, uh, an article was entitled "Alex Hornerbrook's Arm Is the Difference Between a Good Year and Great Year at Wisconsin." What are your thoughts on a headline like that? You know, it's never life's never that simple, right? But it's um, you know, Alex, I, I've appreciated, and it's been fun to kind of see his his growth the last couple of years, and and uh, he he works at it and. You know, this team's important to them, and yet, you know, what's great about the game of football is it it isn't, and it can't and never will be one person. And, you know, I think that, that was one of the best things about last year is it, it took everyone. And, you know, recognition comes their way, and, and Jonathan Taylor's an All-American, but he's not that without the O-line. I don't, I don't think the O-line gets the recognition they get if they don't have a back like JT and, and a quarterback and on top of all that, you know, a defense. And so, um, you know, Alex 
certainly the, the quarterback it's, a, it's an important position and and um he will have a big impact on on our games but it'll never fall just solely on him well when you mentioned jt jonathan taylor having broken adrian peterson's fbs freshman rushing record what does what makes him so special you know he's uh one you know coach obvious speaking he's talented but he's a he's a unbelievable worker and uh He's got a great blend of of confidence and humility, and uh, and it, it's he's been fun to see. And, and even last year, he's having a good year and a really good year. And, and yet, how he handled you know things outside the game, he, he's uh, he's a special guy. And uh, and that was that that's been fun to to see him continue to grow not only on the field but off the field paul chris wisconsin head coach here uh on the rich eisen show um how do you how do you keep the kids i guess uh, on an even keel i mean cover sports illustrated there's a lot of folks that think you're making the playoffs this year winning the big 10 13 and 1 last year how do you how do you keep this uh feet planted on the ground here you know i think you just um you, you get them to understand appreciate and and be in the moment and and you know we had a group you know two years ago all the preseason talk was that you know may not make a bowl and you know i think rightfully so they chose not to you know listen to that and it's it's whatever we do and you you know try to be as prepared as you can and you go out and compete every saturday and and so a lot of these guys have lived that. You can't have it one way and then try to buy into it uh, another year. And and everyone knows that, uh, with all due respect to the the experts, none of that matters. And and you know we talk all the time that the the best part of all of this is when you get to play the game. And you know when you're playing the game, that's that's as fun as it gets. And it's not till the end that you have a winner or a loser. So if all you're worried about was winning and losing. You'd miss the best part of the best part of the game, and that's playing it. And I think it's the same with the season. You know, season's a it's a journey, and you want to enjoy each and every day of it. And so, you know, that's kind of how we've approached it from the beginning. So, you know, why would we change the way we approach it? And I don't think anyone's ever had higher expectations. And you could say this probably across the country. You know, every team in that team room and, and coaches. I know for us that we've got. And have always had high expectations, and then you gotta you get the chance to go out and, and play the games and, and see what happens. Well, and of course, you know you're you're you have a you've mentioned humility several times here, and you know uh, you walk it and talk it. Although I do have to say, we did notice at the end of the Orange Bowl, you might have had a <laughs> particular thought on the turnover chain of the Miami Hurricanes, coach. Yeah, yeah I've. I'm not real smart. I mean, I was talking to myself. I could have just said that in my head. Uh, <laughs> so that was, you were not saying that's anybody in a no, headset? No, that's or? the worst part about it all is that I could have just thought it to myself. But it's uh, not necessarily proud of it, but it's... Uh, you could have chosen a different body part to mention as well to associate <laughs> with the uh, turnover chain. <laughs> Just, you know, there's throwing. a lot of, uh, yeah. And it was really good when my mom was the first one to tell me what happened. Is that right? She yeah. was, your mom was the one who told you that we could no, read your lips? The kids, but outside the locker room, I, the, my mom was the first one that, you know, so she's been around it though. She's, she grew up with it. Been around what? Your ass? Is that what you're no. saying? Well, yeah. Oh yeah. I was a little kid. She's been around the game of football. So yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> We're lip readers out there. We can read your lips. You never know when you're on. No, you don't. You never know when you're on. Hey, uh, would you want to? Would you be up for getting rid of the conference championship and then making sure that Wisconsin plays somebody like Ohio State or Michigan State every year? You're not playing them this year. Sometimes you don't play Michigan. Right. I mean, would you be up for something like that? I mean, I do. I loved it. You know, when I was in the Big Ten as a player and as a coach. You know when you played everyone, right? But it's I I understand and and know how we got to all this and and you know what I'm not going to be the one that'll decide and so you you embrace what's in front of you and and I felt like you know when you get a chance the last two years we've had the opportunity to play in the Big Ten championship and you know that every game's a playoff game and and 
anytime you can earn the right to play one more game, that's a great thing. And, and yet I do, you know, there's a traditionalist, I think, in, in me that loved it when, you know, you were always going to play. You knew who your conference was and you were going to play and you'd have a, you'd play in their stadium. They'd come to your stadium. But, you know, for for a lot of reasons, that it's no longer that. And so you just kind of embrace the way it is right now and, and, and make the most of it. And it's, it's actually pretty good. Well, if you had a choice, would you have, would you have an 18 playoff? I know I'm talking to a traditionalist here, but would you would you go there? I don't. I really don't spend any time because my opinion doesn't matter. Sure it does. You're the coach of Wisconsin football. Yeah, but they're not asking me to vote on it, so. Well, if you did, if you did vote on <laughs> well, it. I'd have to think about it before I voted, and I haven't really thought much about it, so. Okay. I think that's Paul Chris saying uh, 18 playoffs, my you-know-what. That's what it's, I think that's what he's saying. I mean, really, it's, I felt like we were in a playoff game every game mm -hmm. all last, the whole season. And yet, um, I, I I get it, and there's always going to be that the odd one out, right, is, mm -hmm. you know, should they be, could they be, and, and it's, uh, I think they've, People are trying to make it the best they can. At least I like to think that. Coach, appreciate the time. Have a great uh, season, great Big Ten season. Hopefully we'll catch each other uh, down the line during the season. I'd love it if you're up Thanks, for Rich. It. I appreciate it. Right back at you. All right, That's have a good day. You too. That's Paul Chris, Wisconsin head coach here in the Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.